Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at using Socatoa to work out the angle in a right angle triangle. Now, if you follow the link below in the description, you'll be able to go and have a go at some of the questions there and download this particular worksheet. So, um, what we've got here is, we're told that angle X, which is this one over here, is in a right angle triangle, and this dimension is five meters, and this dimension is seven meters. So the first thing that you need to do really is label the triangle. Triangle. So what we look at is we say that opposite the angle that we're looking at is going to be this length here. The longest side in the triangle is going to be the hypotenuse. And then the final side that's left is going to be the adjacent. Okay, now just for the purposes of this video, I've not written this out completely as opposite and hypotenuse and adjacent, but hopefully that's okay for you to use this type of shorthand. Okay, so let's have a look at the three ratios. What I normally do is I write so ka toa and then I really make a decision as to which ratio I'm actually going to use. Now what I need is to know two out of three things for each of these. So if you can see here, I know the opposite. So it's either going to be the sine ratio uh, or the tangent ratio. But actually in this particular one, I know the hypotenuse, so therefore I'm going to use the sine ratio. And what this will allow me to do is to calculate the angle of x by saying that the sine of x equals the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, let's just plug in a couple of numbers and see where we get. Well, the opposite is going to be 5 and the hypotenuse is going to be 7. But you'll notice that that is actually the sine of x. And I'm not interested in that. What I want to know is the value of x. So if you look on your calculator, and I've got one here, hopefully this will come up on the screen okay, but if you look in your calculator, you'll see here I've got the sine ratio, and then just above it there's a yellow one which I can access using the shift key. So shift and sine will give me this particular ratio, which is the bit that I'm looking for, and it's called inverse trigonometry. So if I use sine to the power of minus 1, and then I'm going to put in the fraction. Okay, remember that as you do that, make sure that you use the final bracket there to finish it off. And when I press the equal sign, what I'm going to get is 45.584 and then a few numbers afterwards. Well, OK, the answer is being asked to give correct to three significant figures. So to three significant figures, that would be 45.6 degrees. So in other words, the angle here is going to be 45.6 degrees. Okay, hope that's okay for you. Um, I appreciate this is three minute maths and we've just used three minutes, but just for the interest of this, I'm going to go on and give you another example in part two. And again, I will mention if you go through to the uh, website by clicking the link below, you'll be able to download this and have a go at this for yourself. Okay, so part two then is going to be exactly the same process where the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the triangle. So this is the opposite. The longest side is always the hypotenuse and the one that's left is the adjacent. Okay, so the next process is or the next stage is I'm going to write the ratio. So, ka, toa. OK, now I then need to decide which ratio I'm going to use. Now, you'll notice that actually I've got the hypotenuse and the adjacent. Well, the hypotenuse and the adjacent would be the cosine, OK, because that's the information I've got. Got the adjacent, got the hypotenuse, therefore adjacent and hypotenuse. If you remember, I need two out of the three things. So this is going to give me the cosine of x equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. OK, so let's uh, write that out using the numbers. I've got cosine of x. Adjacent is going to be 4.8. 
and the hypotenuse is going to be 8.9. Okay, now again, as we mentioned before, we have to use the inverse trigonometry. So I'll just show you on my calculator. This is the cosine, and then here is cos to the power of minus 1, which is the inverse trig, and you can get to that by pressing shift and then cosine. Okay, so let's try that, and I'm going to write this as cos to the power of minus 1, 4.8 divided by 8.9, and just use the fraction key for this, it's perfectly fine, making sure that you finish your bracket off. And when I press the equals on that, I'm going to get 57.3622. The question is asked correct to one decimal place. Well, to one decimal place, that would be 57.4 degrees, which is going to be the value of x. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Please have a look at the description below if you're not sure about anything. And um, I'm going to be posting also a video on how to use Sokotoa by working out the length of right angle triangles. Okay, hope that's useful and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.